very passionate, he's very persistent, and he perseveres. The game of life is far more important than the game of football. If it's worth having, you gotta work for it. Take a risk here and there. They learn not to quit. He played for Bear Bryant. came out of Junction, you aren't going to be a quitter. You're going to have a commitment. The praises of Terrebonne High School sing. Your voices raise on high her glorious name. With World War II in the rearview mirror of the American psyche, America's sons turned their attention to the game of football. Sidney Terrio was one of them. He would cross Bayou Black in a P-Rogue and travel up Highway 90 from Gibson, Louisiana to Terrebonne High School where he excelled like no other player before him. He was always up in the front and ready to go. Always patted somebody on the back, but he'd just as well knock you down as look at you. He would boost you up all the time, you know. Sid was that good at that. I love Sid. He was one super, super football player. Twice he was honored as the most valuable player of his squad from his position as offensive guard. He would become the first all-state football player in the history of Terrebonne High. Principal characteristic was his discipline. He was, he was a good athlete, but he was a very disciplined person. Anything he did, he, he went all out. Uh, everybody loved him. He, 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 no quitting. Sid was not a quitter. His football career was once characterized by a local sports writer as being one that sparkled with fight, fire and determination, skill and remarkable fortitude that made him a standout wherever he played. When they called a 40 trap, I remember Sid having to lead me through the hole and I figured we could make the yardage if Sidney was in that hole and he always was. Sid would also excel in the classroom where he would use the same self-discipline and hard work that he mastered on the football field to guide his studies. Sid was a very good uh, student. Matter of fact, he was uh, a valedictorian of our class in 19, one of them in 51. He didn't have a temper like most kids do, you know, you, you riled up, but Sid was kind of mild going. He got along with everybody that I know of on the team. Captain Marvin, was he, like he'd walk on the field and say Shazam or something. That's when we're ready for action. From Bayou Black to the Brazos River and Texas A&M, there, Sid would take advantage of a football scholarship to earn a bachelor's degree and three football letters while playing for the Aggies. Yet what lay ahead for Sid Terrio and his teammates in his senior season could not be imagined. I guess what I remember most about Sid, now we were at Junction and it was hot. And he was a senior and then uh, we were living in Quonson huts. And there was a few sophomores in that building and. Sid Terry Oat would say something like this. After Turkey Day, this is it for old Sid. But you sophomores, y'all have got to do this two more times. And he'd laugh. And, but uh, he was just an excellent football player, I thought. Very tough. New head coach Paul Bear Bryant took two busloads of players to football camp in Junction, Texas. Only one partially filled bus returned and the saga that unfolded during their days in camp would become the stuff that legends are made of. In Junction, we were in the same hut together, and uh, uh, Sid's sense of humor and, and uh, positive attitude encouraged all of us. I remember one thing that Sid kept saying, I always got a kick at it. He said, ain't gonna be like his next year. Ain't gonna be like his next year. Sid, as a football player, 
was one of the real tough guys, and and he was ahead of me a couple of years. I didn't, you know, we didn't run around personally together after practice, but on the field, Sid was just like that team, the most character, the toughest team, one of the best teams I ever played on. But the thing that I remember and was most impressed with, they had a fleet of guards that were really tough and good, and that was, Sid Terrio was one of them. The Junction Boys, as they became known, will forever be woven into the fabric and color of Texas A&M and college football history. Yet this group of survivors knew the impact that their fellow teammate left on them and the A&M football program. I came from West Texas, and I hadn't been around many coonasses before. And they had several that came in, and uh, I was kind of taken back coming in as a freshman, 18 years old. And Sid, I, had known, I knew that he was an all-state football player from Louisiana, and I was looking forward to, to, uh, to meeting him. I was quite impressed with him. We, came, we became very, very close friends. When you get a tough player like Sid or, or Marvin Tate, Ray Barrett, and Dutch Ollendorf, I mean, these were guys, they were, they were my idols. They were all a couple years ahead of me. So they weren't going to let anybody in a huddle with them that was going to slack or not do their job or have a bad attitude, all the things that you want to learn from sport. And looking back, it's, it makes sense that he became a coach and became a successful coach because he was a very unselfish type player. And, uh, and, and, and he was always trying to find the best in people uh, regardless of what it was. And so I'm sure he did an excellent job coaching. Sid was a fighter and uh, he, he knew what he was doing and he, I'd say he put out 100% all the time. graduation, Sid began a coaching career that would eventually bring him to the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain. In the spring of 1967, members of the Mandeville business community banded together with the distinct goal of bringing football to Mandeville High. Many members of that group believed that the massive job of building a football program from scratch could only be done by one man. So they sought out Coach Sidney Terrio. I don't think anybody before, since, or after has ever had to start a program from the ground up with nobody that's ever played before. <laughs> to start something from scratch like that with no equipment and, 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 and no stadium and, and limited resources and little, little money, it's amazing if you look back on it. He had uh, a special way of handling community people. and. Uh, he was able to get uh, some very valuable booster members behind him, and which slowly, it kept getting a little bit better and better. Coach Terrio built the Mandeville High football program through hard work, determination, and rock solid discipline. The very same traits that had been the hallmark of his life became the key elements he would preach to his players and his students. It's really nice to, to realize that he wasn't just a coach. He was, he was a, a teacher, a, a father figure, a parent figure for people. And it kind of makes me proud for sure because, I, you know, he did what he loved. Great guy, very quiet. But the thing about Sid, when he talked, everybody listened. Gosh, he was a good coach. He really was, uh, you know. Morally, he was a good man. He set a good example. Sid was the kind of guy that... Uh, he could talk to those kids and, and coach those kids, and he could get them to run through a brick wall for him. He was well prepared. He covered all the fundamentals, and he loved his kids. A hard-working, honest guy who, you know, who, he, who came from the heart. He got the most out of his kids. The kids loved him to death. Uh, he was that old four yards in a cloud of dust kind of coach that, you know, we ran the ball a lot. When we threw it, it was shocking. <laughs> But uh, they were always very, very competitive football teams. You, I, I can't ever be remember a team blowing them out. Yet Sid 
would not have been able to accomplish all he did for his players and students had he not had the love and support of his number one fan, his wife, Lona Lee. If Sid was the backbone of the Skippers, Lona Lee would be the heart. Miss T was, was also important um, in the development of us too as, as kids. And you know, she was there all the time for us. And um, kind of, you know, behind every good man, there's a great lady. And Miss T is a perfect example of that. This loving couple not only raised their family, but they raised many of the sons and daughters of Mandeville. Here's a guy that could, has enough talent and ability to do anything that he wants to do anywhere that he wanted to do it. He devoted his life to, to helping us become better people. As we all know, for Coach Sidney Terrio, it was never about the wins, losses, and awards. But it was about helping to make a better life for the children of Mandeville. You know, there's school and the students and the players. Because it means a whole lot to them, it means a whole lot to me. As a living testament to his hard work, commitment, and devotion, Mandeville High School Football Stadium will proudly bear his name from now on. In the end, it was his Terrebonne High School senior quote that said it best, to love the game beyond the prize.